Hello, welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DetailLearner.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to use the Binance mobile app. All right, so I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Binance. After this video, you should become an expert in using the Binance app. All right, so if you are new to this channel, you want to learn more about Binance, you want to learn more and you love videos about making money online about crypto trade investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published all right and if you want to be a part of the community by joining our zoom meetings where you get to ask us questions during the zoom meeting then link to join the telegram group will equally be in the video description all right so before we go into using the features that binance has to offer you need to have a binance account and if you have not gotten an account with binance already i wonder how you're going to start your crypto journey effectively all right so if you are interested in starting your crypto journey then having a binance account is a must all right that is the reason why i am actually making this video to walk you on every step you need to know about using the binance mobile application okay so if you don't have an account already link to sign up for binance and download the app will be in the video description so once you click on the video the link in the video description it brings you to a page like this all right so when it brings you here you have the option to sign up with your phone number or your email or if you have an apple device okay um, you can actually just continue with your apple all right in this case let me assume that you don't have um, an apple so you want to sign up with your email and your phone number so you just go ahead and click on the colon for the email and phone number and once you click on it automatically your country will the binance application will detect your location okay so if that is correct go ahead and click on confirm and then once you confirm there are just three steps in creating an account with binance first you you know create your account you get your account verified and once you complete these two tasks okay you have access to a lot of goodies to um, on the binance application to use all right so you just unlock a lot of goodies for yourself and then after that once you click on create your personal account okay um, as an individual you're going to create a personal account all right except you want to create an entity account you go ahead and use the other option all right so once you create your account and verify the account you have a lot of goodies awaiting you on the binance application all right so once you finish creating your account you want to download the app once you download the app um, into your phone then that is when the next um, aspect of the video becomes necessary for you so it is assumed that you have signed up and then you've downloaded the app and you've logged in now when you log in the interface you'll be looking at is different from what you are looking at right now on the screen all right so once you log into the app by default you are using the binance light all right but because i'm going to show you how to become a pro we are going to switch from the light to the pro all right once you log into the app you want to click on this icon here okay this is your profile icon the icon at the top left okay so this icon here is your profile icon you want to click on it go ahead so once you click on it by default this will be checked on so it means that you are using binance light all right so we want to turn it off to use the pro version all right this way you'll be able to follow up with everything i'm going to show you so make sure you toggle this off and then once you toggle it off it will switch from the light mode to the pro version and when you switch to the pro version this is what you are going to look at okay so you should be able to follow now once you have this interface the next thing you want to do is if you want to verify your binance account okay you still click on this option here the profile option at the top there okay so once you click on it you see here all right yours will be saying unverified and then um you want to make sure that you click on that okay all right so once you come in here you want to just follow the on-screen instruction all right to do the basic verification which is under this tab okay if you want to do verified plus you can go ahead and do that but with the basic verification you should be able to have you know a lot to do with the binance all right but if you want to go further you can do this verification this basic verification requires you to you know submit your id and then use the app to take a selfie um the id you are going to use will be a valid id card a government issued id card like in nigeria you can use your uh, national id card okay you can use your that is the nin 
you can use your voters card or if you have a driving license okay you can equally use um, that that um, driver's license as well all right so if you are gaining value from this video do give it a thumbs up all right okay and um there is a time code okay in the video description you can jump to specific um options that you want to actually know or specific features that you want to know how to use on the binance platform all right so use the time code in the video description to navigate and see what bet uh, what suits you best okay so that you don't get to see the video from the beginning to the end here on the pro version home page you will see a uh, this menu here that says deposit in your own case it will be in your own local currency my own local currency is detected here because i'm in nigeria so and then you will see an option to equally buy crypto and um, p2p using the peer-to-peer -peer 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 method okay this is an easy way to easily switch your own local currency to um, a digital asset all right to either usdt busd um bitcoin and so on so i'll show you all of this and then you have these short menus where you can deposit you can go to your referral you can you know use um the strategy trading the end tab and then the more to see more options i would walk you through all of this okay so down here um you have your home okay you have your home somewhere here you have the market and then here you have trade we have features and then you have wallet wallet will lead you to where you can have access to all of the different types of wallet on the binance um, platform and then how to be able to navigate through them and use them effectively i'll be showing you that in a moment all right and then quickly here where we have this is um Binance is giving you statistics of tokens that are hot in the market. If you want to know the gainers, okay, for the past 24 hours, you can use the gainers option. Losers, you can use this. And then the tokens that have been doing well in the past 24 hours, you can equally use that to sort that out, okay? So once you have the Binance app set up, the first thing you want to do is to have funds in your Binance um, app, all right, in your Binance account. Now, by default, because you have a Binance account, you have all addresses okay all wallets okay all of the wallet that is related to every coin or token that is supported by the binance application and there are hundreds of them right so if you need a bitcoin wallet binance has that for you if you need usdt wallet whether it is erc20 trc20 or any other one binance has that for you okay if you need a bnb wallet binance has it for you if you need xrp wallet just name the coin all right whatever coin wallet you need binance has made provision for that so you don't really need to start creating wallet here and there with binance you can manage everything you can do a lot of things with the binance application all right so once you create your account and you log into your app the first thing is to have funds on your account and there are majorly um two ways to go about this okay is it that you're buying okay using the p2p or using your debit card or credit card or you are you know requesting for someone to deposit money into your binance application so if you want to buy using p2p then the option to access the p2p option is this one you see on the home page here where it says p2p trading so to be able to buy um crypto using the p2p option if i click on p2p trading it brings us to this interface now, when you come to this interface, there is an option here, okay, at the top here. By default, it is saying P2P. With the P2P option, you can buy, look for any trader of your choice, all right, and buy crypto from that trader, okay? You can buy crypto from that trader at a specified price that the trader has specified here, all right? So, and um, here you have three options, okay, to use the P2P. So if I click on that option, there where it says P2P, we have the P2P, we have the Express, and then we have the Block Trader, okay. P2P means that you are going to look, okay, scan through the market and see any trader that you prefer to, you know, transact with. All right you manually search for them yourself why the express mode you, all you just need to do is to give in binance the amount you want to buy and automatically they will sort out the next available uh, merchant for you to make that transaction easier for you 
all right so i hope you always prefer that most especially as a beginner you use the express mm -hmm. mode then the block trade it, the option this option allows you to buy crypto in bulk for instance if you want to buy crypto what 100 million naira okay so if i go ahead and click on it and click on the block trade here yeah. so here on the block trade once i click on it you have the option to buy and to sell so you see that you can sell anything from around 5 million okay to about 340 million that is what the first person is ready to buy this one is from 30 million to 200 million and if you scroll down you keep seeing different options okay so if you want to buy or sell crypto in that large volume okay you need to use the block trade option that way you can get merchants who are ready to buy from you immediately all right so if i click on the express mode as i said earlier you just put in the amount and then click on buy with zero fee and binance will automatically go ahead and search okay for the next available merchant that is uh, can you know fulfill or server specification you've put here all right then if you want to do it yourself Then if you want to do it yourself, you want to use the P2P option here, you come in here to scan the market and look for the best offer, those you want to buy with, all right? So if you want to learn more about the P2P trading, I do have specific video that teaches you, you know, each of the option alone. Okay, this is general overview, so I won't go in depth on what and what you need to know, but this is where you can buy crypto using the P2P option all right so if you're in a country where you can buy um crypto with you know your credit and uh, your credit or debit card then you can use this option that says deposit in your local currency okay you can go ahead and click on it so once you click on it you have the option to you know deposit in your own local currency whatever currency you want to use you go ahead and select that option here and just follow the on-screen instruction all right so that is how you can actually get um crypto either you're buying via the p2p or buying with your credit or debit card okay so the next option is to deposit let's say somebody wants to send you bitcoin or they want to send you usdt or they want to send you bnb how do you get the address so the first thing you need to do is to click on deposit okay you click on deposit here and it will bring you once i click on it it brings you to this interface so you can deposit crypto or deposit fiat but our focus is to deposit crypto so make sure that the crypto option is the one that is selected you can use the search option here to search for whatever crypto that you want to deposit let's say we want to deposit bnb i can go ahead and type in bnb here all right and then you go ahead and select bnb once you select bnb to prompt you to select the option the network which you want to deposit okay so you make sure that you know the network if it is the Ethereum ERC20, if it is the BEP20, and then if it is the BEP2, any of these options, okay, you go ahead and select. Let's say I want to get the Binance Smart Chain, okay, which is the BEP20, I'll go ahead and click on it, and this is the address that I'm going to send to the person, okay, that wants to send me some BNB. I'll just click on this icon to copy it, and I'll send it to the person, all right? so that is the address all right to for the bnb if i want to do for another token okay or another coin is the same thing okay just um if i come in here and say bitcoin or btc okay i'll click on the bit btc here and then the option here the network will always be bitcoin so select bitcoin and then an address will be generated for you all right so whatever funds that is sent to this address you will always receive it on your Binance account, okay? Whatever funds that is sent to this address, you always receive it on your Binance account. If I want to deposit USDT, okay? Go ahead again and search for USDT, all right? You see USDT here. And then when you come into USDT, you have the option, okay? To select whether it is ERC20, okay? Or when I scroll down here, you see um trc20 this is the cheapest so far and the most popular okay so make sure that if it is trc20 the persons require from you make sure you select this one that says throne trc20 if it is erc20 make sure that you select this first option here that says ethereum erc20 all right but in this case let's assume it is trc20 so i'll go ahead and select trc20 and this is your trc20 address so whatever funds you just copy it from here whatever funds you send to this address um you will receive it on your binance account okay so you just copy okay click on 
this icon to copy you see that it says wallet address copied all right so you can go ahead and paste it wherever you want to send and then send it to the person and whatever funds they send you can always get it on your binance account all right so if you want to make withdrawals from somewhere anywhere at all you want to make withdrawals this is how you get the address all right so if you if let's say there's a platform that you want to make withdrawals in usdt or in bitcoin or in bnb from you just come in here search for the appropriate coin go ahead and click on it and an address will be generated for you and once you copy the address you can send it to the platform and whatever your withdrawals are made it will always reflect on your binance account all right so that is how you make deposit that is one way you assess the deposit tab all right so remember that we use the short um code here to assess the deposit tab if you want to assess the deposit tab using the wallet okay there's a wallet icon here so if i go ahead and click on wallet down here okay on the wallet option here we have an overview of your wallet here you see a total balance okay now you cannot see anything here because this eye icon here is checked okay so it will always hide every um, funds that i have on my wallet all right so we have different wallet here we have the spot wallet we have the funding wallet we have the isolated margin wallet we have the usdt officials wallet we have the end wallet and then the third party account wallet all right all of these that you see here you can equally assess them at the top here okay support funding margin features all right and then if i scroll to the left you see you assess all of the other wallets here now by default when somebody deposit or when they send money into your account by default it will always be on the sport wallet okay so it will always be on the sport wallet or here all right so that is your default wallet the funding wallet is when you are buying using p2p or you want to sell via p2p make sure that your funds are in your funding wallet if you want to start trading margins okay um you need to transfer your funds to the margin wallet all right so if you want to trade features you need to transfer your funds to the features account and then if you want to involve with binance you know um, passive income the way you can be earning money while you hold your crypto whether it is dual investment auto invest just mention it okay all of the different ways that are different from trading then you need to use the end tab wallet all right so these are all the different types of wallet you have on the binance account now the other way to assess the deposit aside using the short code we saw at the home page there is to come in here and click on spot okay when we click on spot you see that we have the option to deposit okay so if i click on deposit again you see it brings us to this interface and then we can go ahead and deposit whatever set we want to deposit all right so that is how you deposit now the next thing we want to look at here is how to withdraw funds from binance all right you have two options you can either withdraw via the p2p or you can withdraw to another crypto address let's say i want to send um, usdt from binance to another crypto address how do i do that you come here again to the wallet option okay at the down menu here to the right you see wallet you click on wallet and once you click on wallet by default you'll be on the overview so you want to click on spot remember it says spot is the default wallet on binance whether you want to deposit you want to withdraw make sure that all your funds are here all right so you want to go ahead and click on withdraw okay where it says withdraw and then you go ahead and click on it now this option of withdrawing is that you are withdrawing crypto to another crypto address let's say you have a platform you want to fund or you want to send usdt to you use the withdraw option here okay so once you come in here to the withdraw you want to select the token that you want to withdraw any of these that you want to withdraw if you don't have it on the short code here the next thing is to click on the set just like we use the deposit okay let's say we want to withdraw usdt okay i have a platform i want to fund usdt with i'll go ahead and select usdt and then it will ask you okay whether you want to send it to a crypto network or to binance um uh, id to binance pid now if you use this second option it means that the person needs to have a binance account all right so the person needs a binance account to be able to claim this phone and then you need the email the person signed up with the phone number they signed up with or their pid 
if they have created any one so any of these you send it to them and this is with zero fee in as much as it is from your own binance account to another binance account all right but our focus is to deposit uh, to withdraw crypto so we'll go ahead and select the first option which is via crypto network all right now the address that has been provided for you the address the person gave to you you are going to input that address here all right when you input the address you will go ahead and select the network so if i input the address here where it says network go ahead and click on it and then in my own case i will want to assume that it is trc20 okay because if i'm withdrawing via trc20 um if i'm withdrawing usdt via trc20 i will only pay around one usdt for withdrawal fee okay but if you use um, network like the erc20 you pay a whole lot okay it can cost you ten dollars and above or they're about to do that all right so we we'll scroll down and select trc20 and then go ahead and click on confirm all right so you paste the address and then here is where you put the amount you want to withdraw all right if the amount is in your spot wallet you make sure that the spot is selected if it is in your funding wallet make sure that the funding option is selected all right after that you just go ahead and click on confirm once you fill in these details this withdrawal button will be active okay so you go ahead and click on it and binance will give you a summary of what you want to withdraw if you confirm that the address and every other thing is correct go ahead and confirm it and the withdrawal will be processed and then within seconds okay you get the withdrawal to the wallet where you are withdrawing it to all right so that is how you can withdraw crypto from the binance platform all right the next withdrawal method is let's say you want to withdraw directly to your bank account from binance okay you want to withdraw directly from binance to your bank account the option you want to use is the p2p trading option all right so if i come in go to the p2p trading option i'll click on it okay so in this case instead of buying using the buy option here we are going to use the sell option and the same thing applies you can use the p2p mode you can use the express mode or you can use the block um, trade mode so okay so if you want to use any of those options you click on the p2p at the top here then you can select whether you want to search for the traders you want to sell to or you do it binance do it automatically for you and then if you have had a large volume you want to sell use the block trade option okay so um if i go ahead and use the p2p i can scan through the market and then whoever i want to sell to i'll click on it and then put in the amount that i want to sell okay in this case i want to sell um okay i'm using the buy option sorry so in order to sell i'll need to click on the sell option here okay this is the way i'll get the crypto uh, you know converted to my own local currency and sent to my bank directly so i click on the sell option and then it goes ahead and pull all of the people who want to buy so if i want to sell now here on the sell option once again i have a step-by-step -step video that I explain to you what to use how to use the binance p2p okay i will leave the link in the video description so if i go ahead and click let's say want to sell to this person okay you put in the amount click on sell and then follow the on-screen instruction if you are doing this for the first time you'll be prompt to add your account details your bank account details make sure that the account details you are adding is your own because it will be verified with the name on your binance account so remember that you did verify your binance account okay so the name if you are asked for account number make sure that the name tallies with the details you have on your binance account all right that is um, how to use the p2p option without issue all right so follow the on-screen instruction add your account details and then when you sell when the person makes the payment you come back here and confirm once again go see the video on how to use the binance p2p trading option all right so that way you can withdraw your funds to your account directly now the next option that i want to share with you here is this one called the trade okay if you want to trade um p2p you want to trade you want to convert just use the convert option you want to trade spot you want to trade margin you use you'll do all of that using the trade option here, okay so if i go ahead and click on trades okay so here on the trade the first option we have at the top here is convert now on the convert option is just you converting one particular asset to another 
okay you don't need technical analysis to do this all right so let's say we want to convert usdt okay if we want to convert usdt what do we want to convert to we'll go ahead and select the coin here let's say we want to convert it to btc okay so once the btc is selected you put in the amount you want to convert in usdt and then once you click on this preview conversion it gives you the equivalent in btc all right um, this is a, an easy way to use this um, convert mode all right so the next option is the default spot trading all right once again there are specific videos that explain all of this that is why you need to subscribe to the channel to learn more about all of these features all right so on the spot mode you can actually come in here and select if you want to trade spot you go ahead and select here okay to be able to trade all right to be able to trade spot okay and then the next option still on the trade tab okay is the margin trading you assess the margin trading still on this tab all right so if you want to trade margins okay you just go ahead and click on margins all right and here you can transfer funds into your margin account all right depending on which you want to choose whether it is isolated cross mode you go ahead and select it and then with the margin option you can be trading with borrowed you know funds and be making profit all right so um, that is basically how to use the margin options and so on next one is fiat so if we click on the fiat option at the top here okay um your own local currency will be selected here you know just click on this arrow to select any currency you want you can buy crypto using your card okay you can sell crypto you can withdraw crypto um right now this withdrawal option um initially binance will just automatically send your money directly to your bank account but um this option is not available as at the moment uh, of making this video in nigeria all right in the future i believe that it will be but for now it is not available all right so you can withdraw um in your own case wherever country you are seeing this video from you may have that option to withdraw directly to your bank account all right so you can go ahead and use all of these options if you want to you can equally use the buy crypto options okay you can instantly buy crypto with your with your cash and so on and you know sell crypto you can use just go ahead and navigate and see what it does depending on the country you are but right now in nigeria i don't use anything related to this fiat okay so either i'm using p2p or i'm using withdrawals and deposit or the binance platform all right so the next option here is the p2p the same p2p that we assess through the home page can be assessed here, okay so if i click on the p2p option yes it takes us to the p2p trading track platform all right so that is how to use all that is under this trade options here okay once again a recap if you want to trade spot margin p2p you want to convert one coin to another then use the trade option the next one is the features trade okay so if i go ahead and click on the features trade all right so here you can go ahead and trade features all right if you want to trade perpetual you want to trade features okay um here at the top you see that it is usdt m features meaning that you need to have usdt to be able to trade with this option okay usdt busd all of that and then you can trade it against other pair then if you are trading bitcoin itself all right if you want to use bitcoin and then get reward in bitcoin you want to use ethereum get reward in ethereum you want to use bnb get reward in bnb all of those options then you need you need to use the coin m features all right then there is another option there which is under the derivatives is called the options and then you have battles okay all of these are under derivatives so you can come in here and go ahead and trade whatever options that you want this is how to use the spot the feature or to assess this is how to assess the um, features trading interface on binance all right so currently the token that is selected here is srp and beneath it you see that it is perpetual okay so both perpetual and features are still on the same tab and that will you will decide when you are searching for the coin you want to trade okay so if i go ahead and click on the srp usdt it's assumed that i want to change the did okay so you see that here all of the tokens that are here are perpetual you see perpetual okay um, perpetual under them if you want to trade um, features okay you want to come to where it says delivery okay you want to click on delivery 
and um, you come in here okay you see delivery um, under it you see that it is quarterly and then this is equally quarterly now the difference between this and perpetual virtual don't have expiring date but this has expiring date as you can see the numbers that are attached to the quarterly are the expiring date so it means that 24th of june um this should expire so when it hits the expiring date your account um whether you're in profit or you're at loss everything will be liquidated and so on so that's the difference between features and then um, perpetual so always go with the perpetual option that is what i trade so always go with the perpetual option all right so that is how to use the feature um tab option here all right and then the next thing again we want to go to is the wallet the wallet tab after features you want to go ahead and click on wallets okay so this is wallet um here on the wallet tab you can deposit funds as i've shown you you can withdraw funds you can transfer funds now the transfer option here is not outside of binance you are transferring funds between these wallets here okay from spot to funding from funding to margin from margin to features you, you understand so that is what you use the transfer option here for so if i click on transfer it means that i can transfer funds from my spot wallet to my funding wallet and if i toggle this icon here if i toggle that it can switch it from funding to spot and then if i click the arrow in front here I can select where I want to transfer the funds from and where I want to transfer it to. All right, so you can go ahead and select the options and then go ahead. Once you are done, confirm and then your transfer will be transferred from one Binance wallet to another wallet. All right, and all the assets you have on your account, you will see them here. If you by default, it will be showing with this on check, meaning that it will be showing multiple tokens or coins here okay if you want to hide asset with zero balance you go ahead and check this then it will only be the asset that you have money in that will be showing up here all right so basically that is how to use this um platform okay now the next thing i need to show you um which is worth mentioning is how to be earning passive income using the binance um, um app all right so here you don't need to know how to trade to be able to do that now to be able to access that interface will come to the home page and then when we come to the home page you can click on this end tab here okay to go directly to you know how to earn the passive income the uh, different ways you can earn passive income from finance or you click on the more tab all right so um this takes us directly to this interface okay I dropped a video recently explaining most of these things okay so i will equally leave the link in the video description and then if i click if you don't see it if i click on the more option okay you see all of the options that you have access to using the binance all right all of this you want to buy crypto you want to deposit you want to transfer all of these options okay but i want to scroll down here to where it says n okay this is the end tab and this is all you can get involved in to end passive income with binance all right all of this okay all right so once you're on the end tab here you go ahead and click on this end okay click on the end so that it take us to the interface we were here before all right so you can get involved with auto invest with savings with log with bnb world launch pool you know ethereum 2.0 staking and then if you want anything that has to do with high yield okay um i just dropped a video of a dual investment okay on the binance platform you can equally see that video in the video description all right so um you have liquidity farming DeFi staking and the rest you can get involved with this what this requires is that you need to have um your own crypto asset already to be able to participate in most of these cases in most of these things here okay and then if you are somebody who is interested in crypto and you want to be investing um little by little by you know automatically buying crypto for yourself every week every day every month or that about you can use the auto invest to achieve that on the Binance platform all right so basically these are some of the basic things that I need to explain which I know that uh, will actually help you out there as a beginner using the Binance app if there is anything you still stuck with okay uh, you can join my telegram group and you know ask your questions we we'll get to provide answers for you most especially during the zoom meetings okay or you can use the comment section below 
and um, I will provide answers to that or show you how to navigate and use those options all right so basically this is an overview of how to use the Binance app and believe me there is a lot you can achieve from the Binance platform all right so here where you are seeing all of these announcements bringing up you can equally follow you see all of these banners here okay you can equally follow the news binance news when they are running promos when they are running uh, you know bonanzas and the rest and the option at the top here okay you can use it to get all notifications you see that my notifications are there counting you can use it to get the notification on the platform and if you want to contact binance if you want to contact binance you use this option here all right and then this option up here is to scan your barcode let's say i want to log into my Binance account on the web version okay and i have a computer before me i can use this option to scan the code instead of just putting in my login details i can use this to automatically log in once i scan the code and so on so go ahead and navigate you know play around binance and if you have any issues you can always chat and um, or use the comment section and i will see how best we can help you you know get used to the binance platform once again if you don't have a binance account use the link to download that and you have a lot of goodies all right when you use my link you have a lot of promos a lot of good things that await you as a new binance user all right so that is it for this video if you gain value from this video give it a thumbs up share it with others and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.